Hey foodies, thanks for watching. I'm gonna show you how to make a chicken pot pie. These are so good. They're flaky crust, yummy, moist, center, it's so good. And best of all, you can decide what you put in it. So if you don't like broccoli, don't put broccoli in it. It's easy as that. So there's a few key things that you need to have before we actually tackle this project. You need to know the savory pie shell, and that is in the description below. And you also need to have the chicken stew, and that too is in the description below. And today, we're just gonna start finishing it all off. It brings it all together and it ties it all up. And really, once you have the chicken stew and the savory pie shell, there's two ingredients. It's water and Frankie's all-purpose flour. And this is gonna be used to thicken the, the pie. So I'm using flour because if I use cornstarch, it's gonna make it more gelatinous type. This is gonna give it a more textured and, and stew-like consistency. And I'm whisking the flour up with the water so that it doesn't get all lumpy and glumpy in the, in the, in this, in this, in the chicken stew or the, the, the soup that we've made. And this flour and water slurry that I'm making is in addition to the flour that we put in the original recipe because you want to have it a little bit thicker when you're making a chicken pot pie, otherwise it gets really wet. So you can see my stew is already nice and hot. And I'm going to stir this in and we're going to see it's going to thicken right up really nicely. I'm using about a quarter cup of fr flour with about four cups of stew. So you can see, and look at, it's so much thicker already and that's exactly the consistency we want. So I'm going to leave that on low for a minute while we get our pastry going. So a well floured surface. We take our, our base pastry piece. Oh, look at that. It's so nice. And don't be afraid to pick it up and add more flour underneath. It's going to make your life a lot easier by being a little extra observant for taking the flour and tossing it underneath. And we're going to check it. That looks pretty good. I might go just a little bit more in this direction. I like my pastry no thicker than about three millimeters and really no thinner than like two. So it's, it's a really tight scale, but I mean, it's, it's really nice how I've got it. Look at that, that just worked so nicely. And then we put that on top. Bada bing, bada boom, look at that, we got the base done. And it looks beautiful, I can't get over how nice it looks. So let's make the top. A little bit of flour. And I can hear the stew, so I'm gonna give it a stir. And it looks like it's ready to go. So I'm gonna shut that off and let that cool down a moment as I finish up my pastry. Don't be afraid to go a little too thick on your pastry, but because too thin it'll become a bit transparent and it'll probably dissolve when it's baked. But my general rule of thumb again, it's, it's around three millimeters thick and, and it'll be 
just perfect. And I need to go a little bit wider again. There we go, that should do it. Okay. Okay, so just before we're gonna fill this up, I'm gonna make a egg wash for the top because you don't have to have it, but I find it adds a really nice sheen and color to the top of the pie. And that is just an egg with probably a tablespoon or so of milk. And then we're just gonna whisk that up. pastry brush out and ready. Now it's time to fill. So I'm going to get my pot. Oh, look at that. It's just filling so nicely. And I probably got enough to make a small one, so I'm going to set that aside. Okay. And I'm even going to take it an extra step further and just go lightly around the edge just to make sure I get a nice tight seal with the lid and the base. And now I roll this up. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Just a little decorative edge. Okay, and then I'm just going to brush this with the egg wash. And you can see from the hot tortier sorry, chicken pot pie, it's already starting to melt the butter. So you gotta work pretty quick. It's important to have lots of things prepped so that it all just comes together for you. And then I'm just gonna do an M to tell me that it's got meat in it, no fruit. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this in the oven. We're gonna take a look at it when it comes out and we're gonna give it a try. See you in a moment. Oh my goodness. Oh, this chicken pot pie smells amazing. Oh, I almost went into full song there. Okay, so let's slice it open and see what it looks like. Look at that crust, it's so flaky. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's. Now, you normally let this set up a little bit for a few minutes, but I'm too anxious to see what it tastes like, so I'm just gonna dig right into it. Oh my. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Oh. You can tell I took it just out of the oven. <laughs> Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's a really nice combination. That crust is so flaky. You're gonna love it. I look forward to reading all of your comments below and let me know what you think if you try this. Have a great time. See you soon.